scientific notation in Python. Here we import time, the time module. We set t1 to time.perf counter. Perf counter is new in Python 3.3, and that just gets a relative time. t2 is set to time.perf counter, so that's the relative time after t1 is run. And then we look at the difference between t2 and t1. And here's the result. And the interesting number is this third number, 4.33873 and so on. And then at the end, this E minus 05. So what's that E minus 05 mean? What that means is that we're taking 4.33873077662347 and we're multiplying it times 10 to the negative fifth power. So let's do that. We have this number, and we're multiplying it times 10 to the negative fifth. And you can see that gives us the same number. So what does it mean when we multiply a number by 10 to the negative fifth, or 10 to a negative number? What that means is that we're dividing the number by 10 to the positive fifth, or 10 to the positive number. We run that, and you can see again we get the same result. So again, let's see, what, what, what does that actually mean? What's the number we're looking at? What it means is that we're moving the decimal point over to the left five times. So we take this decimal point, get rid of it, and we have to move it to the left five times. So if we put it there, that's moving it one time. So in order to move it another time, we need to put a zero in front of that. That's two times three times, four times, five times. And if we run that, you can see we get the same number. And that's how scientific notation works demonstrated in Python.